everybody and welcome to the Bear Necessities. I'm Bear and today we're going to be making breakfast sausage. Now this breakfast sausage is made out of chicken and it's chicken breast so it's 97% fat free. Fat's not really my friend because of bariatric uh, surgery and so we try to find ways to, uh, to make that, make that uh, work for us. And so these you're not really uh, compromising on the flavor but you are getting a boost in how much fat you're taking in. Um, you do have to cook them a little bit better though because it is ground chicken so there is that. So in here and this is for a half batch I have one pound of the ground chicken breasts. This easily doubles so don't worry about that. And then in here I have one teaspoon of ground sage uh, just dried ground up sage. If you have just regular dried sage that's fine too. The little fluffy bits are great. Um, then I have a teaspoon of salt I have uh, a half teaspoon of ground black pepper and then I also have a, a quarter teaspoon of dried marjoram, a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and then a pinch of cloves. And I mean a pinch. Clove is one of those, it's an incredibly strong flavor so you don't want to overdo it because it can actually make your mouth a little numb if you have too much. So cloves are awesome for that. And then um, I have one, uh, one half tablespoon of uh, brown sugar. Let me remember what those words are. So into the chicken, we just mix all of our, our spices and seasonings and sugar. This is really simple, y'all. Not even a joke. And we just mix it all together. All right, these are mixed and ready to go. It's that simple. 45 seconds. I actually think you spend more time getting all the spices together than mixing it together. Okay. Now I have a scoop because y'all know I like to scoop. And I'm going to bring my griddle over. I'm going to move this towel and bring my griddle over that has been preheating for me at 350 degrees. If you're going to use um, your skillet like a, you know, a person that isn't recording something for YouTube, um, then have it on a medium to medium low heat. These need to cook at a little bit lower so they can go a little bit longer to make sure they're cooked fully through. You don't want raw chicken. You don't want medium rare chicken, no matter what the internet tells you. It can kill you. So let's scoop. And just put them on your griddle. If your griddle is not non-stick, which mine is technically, you can use a little bit of spray. And when I say a little bit, you need the slightest amount. It doesn't take much. And that's actually how they measure it too. Like a spray, to give you an idea, this can is 1,500 servings. So it's just a quick spritz. That's all you ever need. And I'm just going to get all of these scooped up and going. All right, now that they are all scooped and going, it's been about another 30 seconds. I grabbed a spatula for myself. I have reduced the heat on my pan down to about 275 so that these can continue to cook a little bit longer. And you need them to be evenly, uh, evenly thick so that they can cook all the way through without burning. So keep an eye out on them. Okay, it's been about four and a half minutes or so. I went ahead and flipped them. I'm going to continue to cook these for about six more minutes. I'll check to see their doneness by doing the, uh, the cook scale, which remember, if anybody knows it, otherwise you're gonna learn it, is putting your fingers together on your hand and feeling the pad of your hand. Here is rare, like that's very rare, so it's very soft. This is going to be medium-ish, medium well, 
and well. And right now we are definitely at rare. So let's keep these cooking all the way through and I'll see you back in about three seconds. Um, these have cooked an additional seven minutes. The sides weren't quite setting just yet. Usually it's easier in a pan because you can put a lid on the top of them and then the steam will help finish cooking them through. So I just had to let them go a tiny bit longer at a lower temperature to make sure they were cooked all the way through. They have met my, my feeling. These are well. So now what I'll do is I have already turned off the heat to my griddle. I'm going to take these off and put them on a, on a plate with a paper towel underneath. There's not a lot of fat in these. However, I don't want them to get gooey against the plate because there is brown sugar in here. So, um, and I'm just going to let them sit for about 10 minutes and then they're ready. Um, with any meat, you always want to let it sit for a few minutes. Otherwise, you'll lose any juices that are in it. And these are chicken. So remember, there's very little fat in this. So they already risk being on the drier side. It's one of those things that you kind of you make the trade off here. Uh, you can do half chicken and half pork and that would help. It reduces the calories while still keeping a little bit of the fat too. So if you want to try that. But I'm going to let these just sit and finish just kind of mellowing out, chilling, and then my family gets to enjoy them as part of their breakfast. I hope you enjoy making this recipe as much as I do. Uh, this is one of my favorite sausage recipes. It's really easy. As you saw, it's only a couple of ingredients and it's pretty fast. Um, and sometimes you can get you know, things like chicken breasts, uh, ground chicken, ground pork, anything like that at your market, fresh and usually a lower price than you would pay for the pre-made uh, pre stuff that has a lot more fillers. They'll have a lot more sugars and salts and juices added to them just to kind of help them, you know, taste the way they do. So if you want to have something that's a little bit fresher, nicer, and definitely meatier, try making it yourself. You might be surprised. You might just like it. Until I see y'all next week, bye.